welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Our mission is to inspire kindness and compassion. Farmed animals everywhere You can help us take action By volunteering or through donations Or visit our store And check out our website to learn more Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Happily ever Esther Farm Sanctuary. Oh no. Oh weird. Oh look at there. Would you imagine? And we're just talking about how everything is going wrong today and including that mute button which I'm sure everybody has lit up the comment feed below. It says that we're live. We are taping it live. It is right now of course. I don't know what other time of day it would be if it's not right now. Um, but we are... I don't think we are actually live though because no. Facebook's down. That's right. Facebook is down and I'm sure it is down. So we're uh, talking for, to nobody. For everybody. Yeah, we're talking to... We're just talking to you right now. We can't see any comments. We don't know where you're coming from. But do let us know in the comment feed where you are coming from. And I guess I should lose the live banner now since we're not really live. So... Mm. But we are live here. We're at Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary in Campbellville, Ontario, Canada. And Steve is wearing his favorite sweater. I love it. His llama llama. Please don't send him more llamas. <laughs> we don't want llamas. We want alpacas. Oh, alpacas. Yes. Yes. We also love llamas. <laughs> but alpacas first. <laughs> Um, if you have a question, please put it in the comment feed below. We won't be able to do any live questions uh, right this very moment. But Stephen does have uh, questions that are... Inside the magic rainbow bag, the internet has been raked through this week by our kind admin volunteers who help keep this page safe. Um, so, uh, they've got all the questions here. Let's see. Lots of them. Sometimes there's questions that don't apply. So, if we do graze over a question, ask another question. Um, it's just maybe it's not suitable for the page or maybe uh, maybe it's for one of our other network pages to cover. So, uh, yeah. Here's the first question. All right. Lynn wants to know, who do I contact to get a copy of my donations from 2020? I've learned from the Queen not to whine when asking for a favor. Oh. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, you can account, uh, you can contact our info at happilyeveresther.ca and uh, put in your inquiry there and we would be happy to send you out your receipt. Now, however, your donations for 20... What year was that for? For 2020. Oh, yeah, for 2020. Yeah, we can send you that for sure. Um, it's anything that's... Any donation that was made this year in 2021, uh, those receipts don't go out until next year. So... Yep, yeah, uh, contact us at info at happilyarrestor.ca and we will get that out to you. Yay, Denise wants to know, I'm looking forward to hearing all about the resident updates, but I have a question about when you started the sanctuary. Did you have a vision in mind concerning what it would look like or how you wanted it to be? And how is the sanctuary different than what you have imagined it to be? That's a great question. Uh, that is a wonderful question. Well, if we turn over my shoulder here, uh, this is kind of a vision of what we had. And uh, we imagined a red barn a big, big loft. Um, we didn't imagine like they have those row house barns. Uh, we did go visit uh, one place that was a piggery um, mm -hmm. prior to our arrival. And uh, it just seemed too haunting and too daunting of a task to take on something that was a commercial pig farm mm -hmm. uh, and bring it up to speed. Didn't look very happy. No, no, it didn't. So we did have a, a, you know, we did have a vision in mind and we did have a five year goal in plan. 
um, to try to keep us on track. And we did most of it. You know, we, we did scrub some of the plan because when we got here, we were like, oh, no, that's not a good idea or that's not going to work or it becomes way too complicated or the insurance company said no. <laughs> so uh, we have some of those. Yeah. The difference is we have to answer to a lot more people than we expected. That was one of the things that I wasn't ready for, like the insurance company and everybody else <laughs> lots and lots of people involved check this out we have the heaps online auction it just started today and it runs uh for two weeks and uh you head on over the heaps auction online auction has its own facebook page i'm having a hard time finding the camera because yeah, of it's the, weird angles. because we have to just push over just a little bit there we are um so, yeah there we are thank you this way there you are we should go this way a little bit there we are oh my goodness Thank you. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, we went too far. Look, we're in. There is a tiny delay. Um, <laughs> so the Heaps online auction is happening right now, and I'm going to show you, I think, some of the items. Oops, let's see. So I've got all the pictures on my phone here. Ooh, there is phone. That's fun. a ton of jewelry, handmade jewelry that has come in. Um, oh, I thought I was going to be able to. Oh, there we have this is a crocheted Denver and pouty face. So cute. So amazing. Um, let's see what else we have. I thought I could just scroll. Oh, I can. I just, my finger's being sticky. Oh, check this hat out. Cute. This hat. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. I have a couple of this artist's hats. Mm -hmm. and we Would match my sweater. Them. Just saying. Oh, my gosh. No, this is not for <laughs> <laughs> Check this one out, though. There's a, also a pink lovely. one also. Uh, beautiful hand-knit, hand-crocheted items. Check this out, <laughs> Captain Dan. All right, friends, I hear the Heath's train is coming by, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump to our video roll. Here it is. It's integration day for Oksana, so we have got all of the gates opened up so the pigs have as much space as possible. Here's Captain Dan, who is coming in to meet Oksana. I don't even know if they're going to recognize Oksana being led into the herd because everybody's pretty excited about the green spaces being opened up right now. Andrea, what's happening? We're going to integrate Oksana. This is day one. Thoughts on how it's going to go? Andrea. Um, it's going to be interesting. Oh. She was the top of the Farmex herd at one point, but this was over a year ago. And she hasn't been with pigs for a year at yeah. least. So it's, it'll, yeah. Kevin. Hello. Kevin loves integration. Uh, she's going to get ex in exactly four flights. Oh, yeah. Get separated and go to sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and here's Kevin's team is Vince and Emily. I can't remember if you, you saw integration. That was, that was your first week. day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was right. So, uh, this here is we, every day. This is, this is not, yeah. Can you imagine if that was every day when we had to integrate? <laughs> Okie doke. Here we go. So we want to get all of the residents out of this area first before bringing the box in. So she just doesn't turn right around. So we've got this area clear. Let her in. Seems to have a good handle on them. You good, you good to push her through there? That's where she's gonna live. 
you can see how timid she is. She's excited to be out in a different space, but she she can clearly see Dan. See, she's chomping away. That's a, a nervous and also a defensive indicator. Frothing at the mouth. So you can see the way we use the control boards to make her enter the field and have some interactions. It's important that they have interactions under our eyes, uh, watchful eyes for the first couple of times. So we can really determine the dynamic of the group. She heads straight for the rock wall or straight for the furthest point away, which is not surprising. But here comes a member of the herd for the first interaction. It's not a great video shot, but you can see us all dancing around with boards and trying to get control boards in between two pigs that are 600 plus pounds fighting. That's what you gotta do. Andrea, what happened yesterday? Tim fought. <laughs> oh, right on the. On my mind. That's right on First your mind. One. Yeah, how did that go? Right here. How did it go? Tell us, describe the fight a little bit to us. They both were, no, but neither of them backed down, so we ended up separating. How did they start fighting? Tim came running over because he wanted to fight. <laughs> and, and what does it look like? Right here. They were, yeah, they were just kind of spinning in circles, just kind of locked in, and we were trying to get a board in between them. One of those and boards it was there, very right? Active, yeah. Show really... us using the board right now between these two pigs. Pretend these two pigs were fighting. So what would you do? You try to get that in between them mm -hmm. and steer them the other way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because otherwise they kind of stay locked in and do something like this where they don't stop fighting. So, All the tusks are trams, so we're not worried about those kind of injuries, but we still didn't want her to get too tired. <laughs> Power struggles at heaths can you imagine having a power struggle with captain dan <laughs> and <Okay>. april <laughs> i expect to see april um, be feisty today um, yesterday we integrated right around dinner time and so april wasn't much interested in meeting new friends um, but today i suspect we're going to see april be um, a bit more dominant we are doing day two of integration of Oksana into the big herd. And here's Captain Dan. And when I say big, he is big. Hello. Get out of there, you guys. Get out of there. Brindle. Come here, Dan. Dan, Dan. Come on. Come here. Go see Andrea. So we are on day two of integrations with Oxana. Yesterday, just a quick update. Uh, we had a few fights like you might expect and uh, we're not gonna show you those. Um, but Tim, whom you know, Tim is on, you know, Tim is mid herd, uh, but Tim definitely had hard fights yesterday uh, as did Brindle and uh, Captain Dan was almost about to show his authority and uh, we decided to call it quits because there had been enough scuffles and Oksana needed her time to rest. But here we are, day two. We're going to give it another shot and hopefully today we can just let them be. Okay, so um, integration round two uh, has gone so far so good. Uh, better than yesterday, that's for sure. And uh, I'm a bit out of breath, but we are at a point now where there's Kevin all the way in the back waving and Andrea. And then just behind Andrea and Kevin is Oksana. And uh, we've decided today that less is more. Um, there's just a few scuffles that we had to intervene with, but she's quite scared and she's staying away from the herd. 
and she is not um, actively hunting anybody. So that's positive. And so I'm going to step away and leave my boots pointed towards the door and a walkie talkie on my waist. And hopefully I don't get called out to break up any pig fights. And that means this will be Oksana's first night out sleeping in her big bed. Wow, we're back. we are back. So uh, we're going to leave you. It's so gonna, weird the delay. It's throwing me off. We're going to cliffhang you on that. So it's <laughs> to be continued. Um, Oksana is not in with the herd just yet. And they are working on it right now as we speak. It is fall in Ontario, Canada. And it is it's damp cold. and cold. We are in sweatshirts. And uh, my shoulders are shrugging a bit. Yes, or mine. I was just thinking, yeah, where am a, I going it's out, a, robe? It's a bit damp. A bit dank. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got well, another question here from the question bank. Questions. We have yeah. April wants to know, I'd like to learn more about Esther's care. For example, is she cooperative during medical exams? How do you get her to swallow a camera? And do you, how do you convince a 550-pound pig to do something she doesn't want to do? That's a great question, April. You don't um, convince a pig to do anything that she doesn't want to do. Um, but she is thankfully super cooperative with her medical exams. The most important one for us anyway was her hooves and being able to deal with her feet. Um, so we started doing that when she was super young and Derek's able to trim her hooves while she's sleeping. Usually he gets through well, about two hooves, eh? Before she says she's had enough and he may have to give her a little break and go back and do the other two later that day or the next day. Um, but for the most part, she's really, really cooperative. When it comes to doctors, um, she's fine as long as one of us are with her. Um, if we were not there and a doctor goes in to try to deal something with her, it tended to be a problem. Um, but as long as Derek and I were, or Derek or I were with her, she was much more relaxed and, and would allow us in particular, um, to do things for the doctor. Um, for example, if we had to administer sedation, it would be a lot of times Derek and I that would administer the first dose, usually a nasal dose that would kind of get her sleepy. And then the vets could come in and deal with her. So there's, there's really actually a study. I was listening to a study where, um, and, it, and, they, and they quantified it, that if you were going to have a procedure done um, at the dentist, like, like say that you were really nervous about going to the dentist, mm -hmm. and you had somebody that you know uh, hold your hand while the procedure's going on, the, the way they mapped pain in the brain was substantially less than mm, if they were not holding your hand. Mm -hmm. And it worked even with strangers, um, but not to the same extent of your loved ones. So Just be comforted. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, a, it's, that's an interesting, it was a super interesting study. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. you're going to come to the dentist with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Derek doesn't love the dentist. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's interesting because the doctor at the hospital actually had said on more than one occasion that they would not be able to treat Esther um, the way that they do if we weren't present because it does definitely change the way that they are. So, so that's how we did it. We have Esther's trust and she trusts us um, to get away with pretty much anything that we need to do, thankfully, um, because yeah. We both know she's needed her fair share of medical care. So thankfully, she's great about it. Check out this puppet show. Actually, oh, I don't cute. know if they're puppets, but they are definitely fashioned after some of the residents here. We have the Heaths auction happening right now. And uh, one of our kind admin volunteers will put the link to the auction page. <laughs> the peacock. I love this. Look at, look at this. Mr. Cornelius oh, Crochet. Corny. Oh, my gosh. Ridiculous. Uh, Esther <laughs> with a cupcake. I love it. This quilt here is probably not um, leaving the farm. <laughs> is <laughs> unbelievable. I wish there we go. Isn't it beautiful? I wish I could, oh, I can't zoom in on it. There we are. Uh, BJ at Escalade, some masks, some stuff for the dogs. Now the artwork. Wait till you see some of the artwork. Okay, this is made by Andrea, a wood burning oh, neat. by Andrea. So super special. Andrea's playing with lighters. More quilts. <laughs> yes, Andrea is playing with lighters. That's <laughs> hilarious. Um, the artwork. So we have yeah, some more so pieces. Cool. You may recognize um, how this artist works. Whoops. Come on. Very psychedelic. Ugh, there we super are. Super fun. Check it out. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love it. So if you'd like to put down... Um, you have to double tap and out of your Zoom. Oh, there. Thank you. If you'd like to put down a bid on any of these things, you can find them. They're pretty... Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't be showing you all of them. No, you need to go on and browse Oh it. yeah, you need to go on and browse and all of the items are currently not on the page right now. Oh, um, but there we are. 
um, they will be dripped in over the course of the next week. And we have a live auction also coming up this Saturday. I believe it's at noon Eastern Standard Time, but I'm sure I will be corrected. It's either 12 or 1 o'clock, and that's this Saturday. And that's where we will have a live auction right here outside of Coop 2, C2, or Dolly's House. And we're going to have all of the best stuff, and we're going to auction it off for the hottest price. So bring your wallets. Uh, bring your husband or your wife or your friend's credit cards yeah. and uh, we're going to take the shirt Anyone right off Steve's back. <laughs> Wait, Janice well, wants to know, will the barns be completed before the snow comes? Oh, I hope so. Um, the carpenter just got booked for the 15th and 16th of October. So um, it'll be longer than two days of carpentry, but it just sort of lets you know where our timeline is. Um, we'll keep you posted. Um, hopefully we'll be able to move, well, Denver and Pouty's barn, that'll be finished for sure. Um, but the new pig barn, uh, we may not be able to move people in right away. Um, but we are, uh, we're doing our best. Okay. Hold on, Steven. We have to, uh, talk about the video reel. So it's fall at the sanctuary. Everything is starting to burn beautiful. up beautifully. You can see all of the maple trees are starting to turn. And uh, the reds are first, eh? We seem to notice the reds first. The, um, the maintenance crew and the maintenance volunteers, they resodded uh, an area so I used to put down uh, gra uh, fresh grass. Looks like down. some lush grass. Yeah, they, lush they, grass they indeed. Have. Yeah, they are going to be that very happy in Mary's <laughs> yard. All right, Steve's going to tell you about this. He's got to tell you the story of this. Oh, it's my cow. So exciting. So this cow used to live out front of a video store and mini golf place in my yeah, hometown up in Georgetown. And a girlfriend of mine from high school, friend, thank you so much. Um, her parents have had this thing for years and years and years. I think she said 25 or 30 years that it has been sitting in front of Emirates House. Uh, and they're doing some renovations and the cow needed to get moved and they decided to find a new home for it. And we are so ridiculously happy and honored and privileged to be able to provide this beautiful how a new forever home where she will be safe and loved. Look how big it is. Forever. She's about 3,000 pounds. It reminds me of Jasmine. Yeah, it does so look a lot like Jasmine. beautiful. Oh. I'm pretty, pretty darn excited about it. And this is also a bee that moved in this week. Very lovely. Enjoying the butterfly bush, which smells amazing. Reminds me of Glasgow. Phil. The get smell it. of the butterfly bush. It's okay, buddy. Come and get your chair. So that's why that's in the garden. I love it. So yeah, it was a very good week here at the farm. We have a new cow, and a beautiful flowering butterfly bush, and some big, huge bumblebees. It was a good week. It's beautiful. I, I wish, <laughs> I mean, you'll have to live vicariously through it. If you can listen to this noise. Oh, this is the crow is being funny. You may have to replay it if you missed it, but yes, those are crows, and they made that noise. I had no idea they made that noise. And, very uh, chatty. They, both flew into the tree. I watched them, and then they had something in their mouth that they were playing with, and then they made this weird sort of grackle noise. That's, <laughs> like that's the only way I can describe it. And there was also this, Ooh, uh, and it was not an owl. Right? It was them. I watched them. Their mouths were moving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen. Stephen thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, I do wear a tinfoil hat sometimes, but it was not when these birds were making that noise. He may have been a few glasses of that old grape juice in. Who knows? I don't know. Esther. <laughs> no, I was there. I heard it. It's, it's true. Here's Mr. Cornelius. Being perfect. Out. Like Stephen said, being perfect. <laughs> he wants to know, how do you keep the pigs from rooting under the fence? Oh, we have an electric fence, hot wire system. So um, it zaps and it, um, about every every other second, it puts out a charge. And, so, and a noise. And a noise. And so the pigs, uh, that stops them from rooting. Um, it's um, fencing is incredibly expensive. It is, I, and it's what keeps them safe. And it's what keeps them safe. So and yeah, and so we have to protect keep those them fences. in, and it's also important to keep predators out. For the reverse, we keep them um, predators out of Bun Town with uh, the hotline, also with on the outside. Fence. Yeah, yeah, so, on the outside of the fence. Good question. And people out as well. If you get too close. You'll know. Hmm? <laughs> Lorraine wants to know, when will Experian Fox be mailed out? Oh, good question. Uh, in a couple of weeks, they're going to be mailed out. You'll get a tracking number 
and uh, you will be updated via email as soon as they get shipped out. So they'll be there in plenty of time. There's Mr. Angelo. Um, so Angelo, let's just do a quick talk Handsome about boy. Angelo. Um, we discovered Angelo has a disease and we have more testing gone out. It's uh, in the States right now. They're trying to test. Um, it is uh, a disease that we don't want the rest of the herd getting. Um, and so his separation from the herd is unfortunately needed there. You can hear him in the background. Um, so one of two things will happen. Either we have a positive herd structure and we might already have a positive herd, um, in which case he will go in with. And if our herd is not a positive herd, um, we don't want that disease to be in with, uh, with our folks. So we would be looking for another sanctuary home that has a positive herd um, with their goats. So, uh, sweet Angelo, he's a yeah, lovely little goat. It's uh, CL. Um, but we'll get it figured out. Yes. We will get it figured yeah, we're out. Getting it figured out. Um, Sally wants to know how do Pouty in Denver like the humans? Do they care to interact with them very much? Um, here, you kind of have a friend. There you mm. go. Um, no, they don't interact much with them. They do come to the hay ring whenever we're putting hay in it. So that's something. Everybody loves snacks. Everybody loves snacks indeed. So no, not much interaction. They do their own thing. Um, but they're, 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 they are more timid. Um, Denver is more timid than Pouty. But super timid. Denver's yeah. super timid. We're such a big boy. Very, they're allowed very to be here wherever they want to be here. And the timid it is, and mm -hmm. timid it is. Bless his heart. Holly wants to know what happened to Angelo's horns. Oh, back to Angelo. Oh, and Suzanne wants to know, please talk about Angelo. Oh, so there we go. So we we've did. done that. So we, we covered Suzanne Angelo's, and now Le Le Holly. Angelo's horns. He got his head stuck in a gate and Luann smashed his head a few times. And um, it uh, was not, uh, not, it not the best thing to happen to him. Um, and so his horns started to become detached from the top of his head. So he's got a cast on his head right now. Uh, to make sure that his skull and horns all fuse back the way that they should. Mm -hmm. um, so he's, I mean, he's he's healthy <laughs> otherwise. Looks like we got a bed dig. He doesn't yeah. seem to care at all. No, he yeah. doesn't seem to care at all. But we, we do need to, uh, we, I, I, we just had a meeting this morning with Andrea, um, and the test results are not back. They're in the States still. So we are waiting mm -hmm. anxiously uh, to, to find out what we're going to do with Angelo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And last question, Barbara wants to know, I would like to specifically know what whatnots are. Eth Esther often complains <laughs> about dads watching Netflix, eating bonbons, and whatnots. <laughs> I'll let I don't you think take we're eating this. whatnots. I will. The way that this was phrased. <laughs> we're not eating the whatnots. Um, I think Esther is probably referring to um, how we sometimes walk around the house in our bathrobes in the morning or before bed. And also sometimes she would maybe refer to piggy whatnots um, because piggies don't wear pants. So, so you can often see their whatnots. Um, so <laughs> that, that would be what she's referring to. <laughs> All right. Um, so friends, we have a couple of things to do here. If you have a question, you can put it in the question bag for next week. Put it in the comment feed below. Uh, we have a couple of things that we have to do here in the last minute of time. Uh, last month, we ran a monthly donor giveaway where Yay! we're going to give away the barn board pigs. And we have the names in the name, uh, the random name generator, and it's going to spin around and they are going to spit out a name. And so this is for existing monthly donors. They are That's going it. to win. Here it goes. Gina Roser, you win. Barn pig Yay, right there. Gina. We are going to get. Thank you so much for being a monthly donor and believing this in our mission piggy. and everything that we do here. Oh my goodness, Gina! Thank you so much. Okay, so this is for new monthly donors, and this month we picked up forty-five new monthly this donors, um, which is outstanding. Thank you so much to everybody that came um, and signed up. Uh, so here it is. Here goes the second draw. This is for the new monthly donor draw for that piggy right there. And Rachel, Rachel, Woo! Rachel Farmer, uh, Rachel Farmer, you 
away in the second prize, we will uh, reach out. We will get into touch. We will get in touch with you um, very, very soon. Thank Congratulations, you so much. Rachel and Gina. It's never too late to start your monthly donation. We do draws like this um, frequently and donor engagement to keep everybody um, engaged. Your love and support is so important to us. You can head on over to happilyeverester.ca and you can start a donation f donation for donation. any donation. <laughs> You can start your donation. Uh, no donation is too small. Oh my gosh, there was one other thing to talk about. I'll put you away now. And it's we're almost sold out. I can't believe it. I thought it was going to be really difficult to sell at this time of year, but home for the holidays. There are ten more boxes available. You can get your home for the experience. Home for the holidays experience box mailed out to you in time. Head on over to the website. Just ten left. Okay, and Only that 10. was and that was ten seconds too long Deck of that the halls song. With bells on mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think we did it all. That's it. I think I think we did it all. We did the monthly donor draw. We did. The, oh, you know what we didn't play though. No, I'm not playing today. We didn't play this game, Stephen. Do you, did you play this yet? No. No? So, uh, this week, rather than names or ages, we've gone just straight for the noses. So, do you recognize any of those noses? Let's, let's start. Well, the first one's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, Steven. Oh, you want a name? Well, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do a name. Is that Bobby? No. No, no, no. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, I'll give you a hint. She's a mum. That has to be Fiona. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's not mama. Um, it's okay, next one. B. Uh, this one really tripped me up. I mean, I want to say Diablo, but I, I must be... Is it Diablo? Is nope. That has to be one of the sheeps. Yeah. So it's Abraham or Luann or... It's Luann. Lu Yep, it's Luann. Yay! Oh, it's Captain Dan, I see. C. Uh, C is Captain Dan, yeah. And BJ is D. Uh, no. Oh, that's one of the Shetland sheepies. That's so me. that is Barack or... You didn't get a buzzer for your first one, so we double buzzed you this time, I hope. That's okay. Who else is out there? Barack. Doug? Uh, yeah, it was. It is Brock. Yep. Oh, it is Brock. Yeah, yeah, it's Obama. Yep, that's oh. right. Except that. Uh, e would be Escalade. No. You're gonna get a, an idea of what Steve's nose looks like. Yeah, I guess closer. <laughs> yeah. Um, BJ. Yeah. It looks like po Pockets Warhol the monkey. Who the next one? Yeah, F? I know it's not. But then that has to be, is that Escalade? Or no, 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 Escalade. Uh, Diablo. Yes. Doug? No. Moose. Yes. Escalade. Yes. You're pretty good. And oh, Heath. That's yeah. the Heath logo. Yeah. You <laughs> did it. You did it. Oh, that was a fun one. That was, I, I, I had a hard time with that, actually. Did you? Yeah, I saw the answer, so I knew, I knew the answer. Cheater. Key, so. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, we hope you've enjoyed this episode of Barnside Chat. We happy hope Monday. wherever you're tuning in from, we hope that you're happy and we hope that you're safe and we hope the same for your family. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Derek. My name is Steve. We'll see you next week. See you later. Bye bye. All we need is a place to be and a few good friends for some company. If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave. We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked. If you drop on by, you don't have to knock. We're happy to share whatever we've got.